Today we're going to be training, uh, we're going to be checking out uh, this gym in Orlando, it's called Backbone Barbell, um, it's more of a hardcore powerlifting uh, style gym, they also have a wrestling ring in there so that's pretty interesting, we might get in there and do some Rey Mysterio <laughs> <laughs> um, stunts real quick. Uh, probably wouldn't be the best idea being that I am a couple weeks out and I should avoid injury. Yes, that sounds about right. Um, but we are we are going to be squat, benching, and deadlifting. Nothing new. Same shit. Pretty much all of my training sessions. That's why I don't do a daily training vlog because I pretty much squat, bench, and deadlift every single session. Um, well, not every single session, but... Um, at least three times a week, but I am excited uh, because we are going to be pushing. We're going to be pushing volume. We're going to be increasing uh, the intensity here uh, until about three weeks out or so. Probably a third week out will be the hardest week of all, um, and then we'll start slightly tapering from there. But we're going to stop at the 7-Eleven over here up the street, grab some pop tarts. Um, lately, I don't know. It's been my, my thing. Every time I go to go go to squat, I eat two pop tarts, and I've been feeling amazing. I've been having the best training sessions. Um, so I don't know. Even if it's psychological, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But we're gonna go do that, and then I'll catch you guys at uh, Backbone Backbone Barbell. Backbone. <laughs> All right, guys, so we picked up some s'mores pop tarts and a ultraviolet monster energy drink. Lately, this one has been becoming my favorite. Ultra, I think it's Ultra Zero, is the white one, right? Uh, yeah, probably. Ultra Zero? Yeah, Ultra Zero. Oh, shit, yeah, he got Ultra Zero. Oh, Zero Ultra, bro. Shit. Zero Ultra. Um, yeah, but I don't know, man. This this purple one tastes like uh, like grape juice to me. And I'm a fan of grape juice. Or grape, grape juice soda, actually. Not grape juice. Like Welch. Even though growing up, Welch was highly, highly and essential in my household uh, for some reason. That and Welch's passion fruit juice. Now that was bomb. That's when I didn't give a shit about my calories and I actually didn't even know what the fuck a macro was. So um, yeah, we just fucking ate whatever the fuck we wanted and we just pretty much played around all day. My energy expenditure at that point was probably like 17,400 fucking calories or some crazy shit it's not even a real number <laughs> anyways we're gonna eat this and drink this and then we will catch you guys out there what up guys so we made it to the gym here as you see uh this is it right here fairly small space a little bit crowded um but still a pretty decent environment um I originally was going to squat, bench, and deadlift, but seeing how packed it is in here and how just crowded it is, I'm probably just going to deadlift and then leave squats and bench for tomorrow. So I might make this a two-part video um, or a two-day video. Yeah, so one video, two days. Today, deads, tomorrow, squat and bench. Um, so I guess let's just start warming up and... Start deadlifting some heavy shit.
what's up guys so that was 600 for two triples the first one was a little bit blurry i did that without any straps uh all i had was my uh, wrist wraps and some chalk and i almost ripped the shit out my thumb uh doing hook grip with that um, and it felt pretty good uh, moved really well i'm feeling good today so i kind of auto regulated i originally only had 575 for uh five triples but being that i started warming up things were feeling good i decided to work up to a top triple of six uh 600 and or 605 i believe it was 605 and ceiling uh seeing how that felt and it felt it felt awesome so i decided to do another set um just because the first one was blurry um and that moved even better and i think i attribute that to just my body getting acclimated to 600 again because it's been a while since i pulled over six last time i pulled over six was that barbell brigade when i pulled the 700 uh there and lately i've only been working up to about 560 or so on my heaviest days but now that we are a little bit closer to the meet um you know we're bumping up the intensity here so decided to work up to a top single i mean to a decided to work up to a top triple uh, i meant to say and that went really really well so now we're backing off I'm gonna do uh, three more triples, but with 575 this time, and then just move on to some back work, and then probably go to Chipotle, take it home, relax, enjoy the rest of my day, and then head back to the gym tomorrow to guess what? Invest. Because that's how I see these sessions. These are investing sessions, and it's time for me to invest in myself. It's therapy. Let's get in there. today and maybe everyone feels fake somewhere I lost a piece of me smoking cigarettes on balcony but I tend to this alone sometimes I just need a light if I call you on the phone and you're on the other side so when your tears fall down your pillow like a river I'll be there for you all right guys we're pretty much wrapping up the workout here uh did some deadlifts some penalty rows some pull-ups uh, pretty much gonna call it at that um and finish up tomorrow it's getting late i gotta get some work done uh but my man ray got this cool ass fucking leg press machine in here that i've never seen in my life before or never well i've never tried it because i've never seen it but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna try this shit you the best in the world. Not the worst of the best in the world. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak! You never know what can happen. Oh, damn! I'm weak!
That's three white lights right there. Oh, okay. It's it actually pretty awesome. I can see how it could be like very less taxing on the lumbar. Damn. I've never seen it before. Really? No, no, you're good, man. That's not. Right. You can turn this way. So there's a guy at your rope, but he's like a metal worker. Like three of them. So, so basically, I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's, just, it's like a three of type machine. Holy shit. So this guy made it, and uh, the trainer that trained my dad loved this machine. He bought it like instantly. And then he moved to Atlanta, so for my 16th birthday, he knew I loved the machine, and he gave it to me. So literally, it would like. I live on a farm. Yeah. So, so this thing was in like a garage. And I would do lunches with like horse jumps on my back and drop the whole basher and we'd set it to one of the horse jumps and then still wow. like five acres, dude. Wow. And, like, so that's why three out of three limited edition right here. This is uh this is uh gold right here. Rare. Wait. Well guys, like I said, I just wanna end the workout. Nah, you good man. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the video. You guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to thank my man Ray for letting me come train at Backbone Barbell, right? That's right. And if you're ever in the Orlando area, please make sure to come check it out. As you can see, it's a fucking badass gym. It can't get any more hardcore than this right here, honestly. Um, so make sure to stop by, say what's up to Ray, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.